So you are supposed to sit at seat 28D in the rear part of the cabin. And once you get to your seat, you notice that the entire row is occupied and it's rather crowded. Moments later, boarding is complete and you spot an entire row of empty seats just in front of you. Why can't you just move a couple of seats forward in order to have more space, right? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you're all doing great today. In order for all flights to be operated in a safe way, the load distribution in an airplane is very important. Before takeoff, pilots have to make sure that loads like baggage, fuel and passengers are well distributed and within the airplane's operating limits. They use a load sheet for that. On the load sheet you can find depicted weights such as uh, the zero fuel weight, take weight and the landing weight. These weights were calculated by using the actual amount of passengers, fuel and baggage. Apart from that, the load sheet also shows the exact distribution of these loads. So yes, it shows where passengers are sitting by means of different cabin zones. And why is this important? It comes down to the center of gravity of the airplane, which has to be within a specific range in order for the airplane to take off and land safely. The center of gravity is the point through which the gravity acts on an object, um, an airplane in this case. Usually a rear center of gravity is preferred because it reduces the download on the tailplane, which causes less drag. That way we can save fuel and in turn, of course, money. But if you don't get this, that's no problem. The only thing which is important is that the airplane has a specific trim setting in order to compensate for the center of gravity. And the trim setting controls the trim of the horizontal stabilizer. It basically zeroes out the forces so that the forces required to operate the airplane are normal and within limits. The trim setting is directly related to the distribution of the load. That means that in the event of a very off center of gravity or a lot of passengers in the back, with a wrong trim setting, the airplane could end up in an unstable and dangerous attitude and potentially crashing or at least having problems while rotating. In the opposite way, if there is too much load in the front of the airplane or a nose heavy airplane, the pilots may not be able to rotate due to too heavy stick forces, especially when the trim has been set incorrectly. And this is exactly the case when passengers decide to move seats before takeoff. Of course, I mean, a couple of rows and a few passengers don't really matter that much. But imagine 40 passengers moving from the rear to the front because they simply find a better seat. The load sheet is not taking into account those changes. And moving of the load requires a new calculation to be made after a new trim setting should be applied. If you really want to move from the front to the rear or from the rear to the front, then do so during cruise, but always ask, of course, one of the flight attendants. During the cruise, the airplane automatically trims the uh, airplane yeah, in a correct way. And everything I just told you is also the reason why cargo should be loaded and secured properly. There have been accidents with airplanes where cargo like cars all of a sudden moved to the back of the airplane while rotating, resulting in an extreme pitch up attitude. I hope you have a better understanding now of the load distribution in the airplane and the reason why you can't just move from the allocated seats. Check out my website dutchpilotgirl.com for many aviation and pilot career related content. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope to see you in the next video guys. Bye bye.